For your squat stance, a general rule of thumb is that you want your feet about shoulder width apart. But from here, it sort of depends on how your femurs hit into your hip socket, whether you're a retroversion or antroversion or an in-between time of squatter. I'm gonna link below Squat University's um, video they have on this, which is pretty good. But very simply, you can kind of see whether you should have your feet straight or you should have your feet off to the side, just basically how easy it is for you to get depth. So if I have my feet straight like this and I squat down, that's, that's the lowest I can get. <laughs> so clearly that's not my stance. However, if I turn my feet out and I squat down, I have no problem getting depth. So I am gonna be a toe out stance squatter. Now, once you're in your stance, how you're gonna move is also gonna depend on your femur to tibia length. So I have fairly long femurs if I measure my hip bone to the center of my knee, that's 18 inches. And if I do the same to my ankle, it's about 15. So I have longer femurs than my tibia. So because my femurs are longer, I'm gonna have to have more forward reach in order to get parallel. If my um, tibia and femur were more of a one-to-one, -one, I could stay more upright and hit parallel. But because I have such long femurs, I'm gonna have to have some forward lean Otherwise, if I don't have forward lean, I'm just stuck here. I will never reach parallel. So I have to have forward lean in order to reach squat depth. Like mentioned in the previous video, you want your arms as close as you can to create tightness and a stable shelf as you get under the bar. Should be difficult to get under the bar. Giant breath, and here is where it's important. You wanna take short steps away from the bar, but still stay fairly close. Don't waste your energy on walking way back. Our shoulder width apart, toes out, and again, just some slight look forward lean so that I can hit depth in the squat. Hello.